conditions are pretty wet, so the trail is probably going to be um, very different from what we're used to. So we'll probably stop off at the trailhead, you know, air down, disconnect, get everything ready, Jeeps and Fort by, and then we're going to head up to a cabin back behind a ski resort. It's called Bear Valley Ski Resort. So we're going to try to get that for the weekend and do some Thanksgiving festivities. Yeah, we'll see you at the trailhead. Let's get over there. found snow the rain turned into snow we're about 6,000 almost 7,000 feet up and the Jeeps are doing good I've got it in four low just crawling up through here and looks like there's some ATVs back behind us kind of following in on us but man look at this beautiful view we have here look at this so there's a couple ways to get back to this cabin that we're going to. There's a hard way and an easy way. This is considered the easy route. We've got about three and a half miles to go on this trail until we get to the cabin. And I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping that it's not taken and that we can get this cabin because it'd be really cool. Let's see how it goes. y'all we just got to our destination the cabin should be right here on the left that's the cabin right there that's the cabin i swear we've been here before yeah we've been here before you guys okay everyone okay Alright guys, we just got that ATV or UTV flipped back over, everyone's safe, no one got hurt, and they're just going to hang out and relax for a moment, probably head back to the main highway. But as far as me, we're at this beautiful cabin called Bear Trap Cabin. We're going to go check it out and really think about if we're staying here or not. <laughs> a lot of people, very crowded, very busy, not really my style, but let me turn you around and show you what it looks like inside. So here it is. Ah, what do you guys think? Pretty cool? Oh, they got MTV cribs. Plenty MTV of cribs. Whew, plenty of wood, that's for sure. It looks smaller. Something changed. 
You've got your furnace here, wood stove. Here's where you check in for the night. You can stay up here to, uh, I believe, 30 days. Oh, here's the rules. Some good stuff to read. 21 days. Oh, 21 days? Looks like someone had to make a repair right here. Hopefully it's safe. This one actually goes up to a second story. Big table. We'll have to figure out the lighting in here, but really big table. Um, someone's loaded up with some plays here. Let's see what's up top. And we've got the two bunks. It's a bit dark up here. I'm gonna have to get some light. Look at this, everyone's been dry writing their names and leaving a part of them here. Plenty of wood. I say we start a fire and hang out for a while. What do you guys want to do? A start a fire. And start right now we're just unloading the Jeeps and getting everything inside the cabin so we can set it up. Delicious Thanksgiving dinner in the cabin. Turkey meatballs, green beans, potatoes, bread. Happy boy. Ready to eat? Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> you ready to eat, Haley? kind of made the cabin our home for the day. The kids and everyone's putting all their effort into making a delicious looking Thanksgiving meal. Everything's set up in the cabin. We're gonna go inside and enjoy this meal. I wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving. And after our meal, I'll give you guys a little tour around the cabin. And yeah, let's go ahead, let's get inside. You gotta find your people That's our plate here The ones that make you feel all right The kind you wanna stay up with all night You gotta find your people The ones that make you feel whole Okay, the happy Thanksgiving, Charlie. She's got potatoes, green beans, turkey, meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> look at her, look at her. She's eating like a horse. I gotta stop this. All right, Raylene is cutting up the pie. Well, I'm sorry, but you gotta have a whipped cream for every bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was a delicious Thanksgiving meal and we're making some tea to kind of warm ourselves up, put out the wood burning stove. And I wanted to give you guys a little quick walk around of the cabin before we head on out of here. So as you can see, you got a staircase full of wood back here. I got my light set up. But uh, you got some benching. This is this will take you up there, and I'll just walk you around at this floor, and then we'll go up to the next. You got a big bench here with some pads, large dining room table. It's all made out of wood, 
And as you can see, there's writing all over these walls. They're, they're not even white anymore. Um, everyone's just left a bit of them, a part of them and their memories throughout time. So this cabin is actually called a hiker's cabin. It's public. If you wanted to occupy this, you could for up to 21 days legally before they, someone else can take it over. I don't think that you have to sign in. I'm not totally sure if you, if you know, let us know in the comments. But uh, someone wrote here that this cabin was built in the 1920s, almost 100 years ago. So it's a little rough. It's not the nicest cabin, but um, it's definitely doable if you needed it or if you're, you're stuck somewhere, your car's broken down, and you can get to this you're within you know five or 10 mile radius, come here for sure. It's got plenty of food over here in the pantry for a couple nights, lots of water. And the rule is if you take something from here, leave something. So I think we left these chips here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long those are gonna last, but we've got some pork rinds. We've left a few items here. We're gonna leave this tablecloth for the table. We've left some Korox wipes and some peppermint crunch patties for, for the next people who come here. Got some clays for trap shooting if you trap shoot. Um, and then we'll go up here where the attic is, or the second floor. So there was a note, I noticed that the flu for the wood burning stove has been, needs repair. This is in some new parts for that. So stove parts, and then you have a box here. You can probably set these down and lay on them. We've got some bunks here, two bunks. And yeah, it's not a lot going on up here, but pretty neat to say the least. You got some air mattresses, pillows if you need. I also happen to notice that they left a small generator right here. So if you needed power, there's a small generator right here, which is pretty cool. We just made sure that everything is nice and clean before we head on out of here. So originally we were going to stay the night here, but there's a four o'clock blizzard coming in and it's pretty sketch in this area because right now we see a lot of rain and really slushy snow. But to get out of here, we got to go up another like 1500 feet and that is where the blizzard is. And if it gets too much snow, we may not be able to get out of here. We probably get stuck in the morning. So I think it's a safe call. We better get out of here and um, just play it safe. So we're going, we already packed up and we're headed out of here. So thanks for joining us on this video. And I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving from me to your family. And we will see you on the next video. We'll see you soon. Thank you.